Welcome back everybody. We'll jump straight in because this one starts you off in the inventory from Ashley. This is everything that Ashley collected. Start this chapter, you've basically put in all that into your inventory. So if you got the green herb I missed, you should have one less green herb than what I've got there. And what we're going to do now is going to kill Ashley a few times. You might not want to kill her here because if you kill her as soon as the chapter starts, you have to keep entering this inventory part. So what you can do, yeah, just go through the first doorway and then kill her in there. So yeah, come in this doorway over here. Yeah, just ignore what I was doing. This isn't the way you have to go, but we're going to backtrack and get that magnum now, by the way. I mentioned it. Was it in the last video or the video before? I think I mentioned it when we passed it. Yeah, it's a broken butterfly you get. And we're going to go and get that now. So yeah, just come through this doorway, turn around and slash her neck five times. Oh, no. Do not tell the president about this, Ash. Don't tell your father, please. Right, yeah, so about five times. I've already done it once, so I'm just going to do it twice more. And it should be okay. Yeah, there will be some enemies on the way back to the Magnum. To get it, there will be a few enemies there. There, are, there is another Magnum you get later called the Killer 7. This one's called a Broken Butterfly. This one is better. The Killer 7 starts off better. But the Broken Butterfly, it gets a exclusive upgrade later. Which doubles the firepower from 25 to 50. And 25 is all that the Killer 7 will hit anyway. The Killer 7 doesn't have any exclusive. I don't know why. Yeah, but yeah, it gets up to 50 firepower. It's the right beast. Yeah, so when you come through here, there'll be a few enemies now with scythes, so be very careful. But we're just going to come straight through here, there'll be a red enemy here. Well, sorry, not red enemy. There'll be this guy here. And you're going to kill him, be quick, because they'll, the enemies will be coming up behind you. There they are, you see him just come in there? So you can kill that one just because we'll be coming back through that doorway in a minute. And this is what I forgot before. 5,000k, 5, sorry, 5k in that little cabinet there, hidden away. Yeah, so just heading outside, so back through here, into the outside, sort of terrace thing. And now I can boost Ashley through the window. Loads of goodies in this room. You've got like four little chests, or is it three or four? You've got a big chest. Yeah, so interrupt the door first, and then you get a prompt, and then come over to the window, and give her a boost. And when you give her a boost up, she'll automatically go into wait mode. So you just want to press R1 again to make her follow you. You heard Leon then? You went, follow me. Sounded like Abe. Yeah, broken butterfly. There it is. And you get a treasure as well. Elegant perfume bottle. You'll get some ammo, I think that was, and a red herb. Yeah, so make sure you get a broken butterfly. I actually end up with about 30, I think I end up with 30 or 40 magnum ammo spare at the end of the game. So if you do end up using more magnum ammo than me, don't worry too much, it's not the end of the day, yeah. We end up with about, well I do, I end up with about 40 extra magnum ammo when I finish the game, which I didn't use. So, yeah, if you need to use a bit more than me, go go ahead guys, go for it. With the magnum, because the ammo is kind of rare, that's all you sort of find through that game, 40. What you do, just like we're doing with the TMP, and we're doing the shotgun a bit later when we buy the striker, it's we only upgrade capacity when we're empty or near enough empty. So we'll sort of be trying to be strategic with it. I mean, watch me, you'll sort of know how many Magnum bullets you need for this following chapter or up to the next merchant when I do upgrade capacity. Uh, so this merchant, just going to sell a few things. Yeah, so handgun, rifle, green, red and yellows. Chicken eggs, spinals, velvet blue. Keep the butterfly lamp and the mask for now. Uh, but we can sell the gold bangle and we can sell the elegant perfume bottle. Yeah, so don't sell the butterfly lamp or the elegant mask. And then come down here. Yeah, nothing to buy yet. But you can upgrade the broken butterfly a little bit. Just upgrade the firepower and the reload speed. Do not touch capacity yet. Like I say, we're going to wait until we're empty. And that's it. There we go. Going to make a safe. When it comes to upgrading weapons that I don't actually own, guys, if you're thinking about buying just some other weapons to try them out, just be very careful with upgrading. Because I did a bit of experimentation at the end. 
It does look like I've got a lot of money, but if you just buy another weapon and fully upgrade another weapon additional to what I upgrade, then you will you can run out of money just from fully upgrading one extra weapon. Yeah, so be very, very careful. So break them pots, get a velvet blue inside one of them, and then hang on ammo off that cabinet. And then come over to this weird looking little contraption and leave Ashley there. Don't go near the edge, Ashley, it's very hot down below. Yeah, and then through this door, little side room here, which we need to get a, or I think it's the ornament from here. Yeah, so shoot the links on that sort of dragon tower, whatever you want to call it, and it'll fall in the lava. And come down here, so it'll make a chest appear. Yeah, and you'll find some gold in this one. Three gold bars, the equivalent of 5,000. Now this second one will come across once you get down here, so shoot that one while you're out of the chest. Shoot links down, you'll hear the enemy scream in pain. And then once we've got that second one, we're going to jump into this turntable in the middle. And we're going to jump out the other end. There you go, be two enemies down here. We're going to get rid of these, because you've got to come back through here anyway. That's it, you can just knock them down. I'm knife for the mirror, guys, but you don't, you don't need to worry about doing this. Just just use TMP. I've got so much ammo left at the end. My professional wins can be very interesting. In this chest, you'll find a Illuminado's pendant. So loot that. Then come down here. You'll get a little cutscene straight after just stand still and then shoot the links off this dragon tower that comes down quickly before he burns you. There you go. But normally where the cutscene triggers, you're normally just out of reach anyway. That's it. It'll fall in and the stairs will appear. Just come upstairs and grab the ornament from the blue chest. The lion ornament. Make your way back down. There'll be a few enemies which have jumped from a tower here on the right. Yes, yeah, so you get rid of these if you want, or, or just stun them and run past. I'm professional, but I'm likely going to be sort of running past most of the enemies. Yeah, I know professional, you do get a lot less loot, but. It can't be that much less compared, you know, if I'm if I'm finishing normal with like 1,000 surplus ammo, 30 grenades in total sort of, 200 shotgun bullets, and of course everything else that I sold as well, my rifle ammo that I sold in that. Yeah, it can't, it can't be too bad a professional, we'll, we'll see. So yeah, back over to Ashley Graham, and then take this corridor on the right now. And going to go in the ghost train. Just me and you, Ashley. A little romantic ride here together. It's alright, you can cuddle up to me. That's it, once you're here, go around and smash the pots. Get some spinal and whatever's in the other one. Then unlock this door. Now, I should have all three ornaments now, and we're back in this room from much earlier. Was it 3 1 we came in here? You gotta test yourself. Do you remember when we first came in this room? I think it's 3 1. But you can place the ornaments here now. And then before you go in that door ahead, take a right first. And then come up here, smash that pot, get a hand grenade inside, and knock down the picture. It's a pretty shitty painting anyway. We'll get a new one to put up there and get the gold from behind it. And they're through here. Yes, long chapter. So once you're in it, we've got another ride, but first we'll just get these two pots, one on either side. And one over here as well. That's it, and then jump on the ride. What I'll probably likely do for professional, I might try and just use pots that have that always have the same items inside. You, you probably know it. Some pots have run. Some pots of contents are random. Some pots, it's always the same item. So I might, yeah, I might test things a bit so we always get the fixed items so that we're always, we're always in the same state, uh, equipment-wise. Velvet blue in that pot there. Treasure's always the same. If you if you find treasure somewhere, then even if you reload that treasure will always be there. So in this area, we've got a merchant here and another shooting gallery. We've got that pot there, 
on the on that top of that little cabinet. And in that small cabinet there you got handgun bullets. Welcome. So we'll just have a chat with the merchant here. That's a rare something. Yeah, so sell all your junk loot which you don't need. Spinals, velvet blues, illuminators pendant, and keep a butterfly lamp and the elegant mask. Upgrade firepower off TMP and broken butterfly if you can. And nothing else. What you want to try and do? Yeah, so going into shooting gallery, guys, you want rapid firing and you want to choose the TMP. Yeah, and you want to do. Game number B. Sorry, game letter B. B is a letter, not a number. Yeah, so you just gotta keep doing this guys now. Get all six bottle caps. You get one for you get one for either shooting all the targets or one for missing one for not hitting any Ashleys. And then for me, I get another bottle cap for every thousand points I get. So I've got to get five thousand points in total. It doesn't matter if you get Play five games and get 1,000 every game, that still count. Or if you got 5,000 in every single game. Yeah, but it's because I'm on EU. If you're on if you're on a NTSC, for example, you may have to get 3,000 points. Because versions, I don't know why, I don't know why the amount is so different on the EU. I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, so you probably have to play a few times. It is easier with a TMP. Yeah, you do want to use TMP. Yeah, remember it's game number game letter B you want to do. There'll be one later, letter D, and that's quite hard that one. But that's the only one where you have to we have to use a different weapon, really. And that's a sniper rifle. Yeah, but A, B, and C we use the TMP and D we use the sniper. But remember, try and go for headshots and always get, when that Salazar appears in the background for shooting five targets in a row without missing, always try and get that first. See, what I did then, I got, I destroyed both the bombs first, but I should have destroyed one bomb, shot Salazar, and then shot the next bomb. Then I probably got another Sal Salazar then, got another 500 points. So once you've got all six bottle caps, talk to Merchant and he'll give you 25k money and there you go you should have all the second row complete so just stay here guys and complete that shooting gallery until you've got all six bottle caps if you forget what you need to do for it i did explain it but just look in your tutorials in your files sorry and you'll find the target practice in there and just have a read up of it so save your game if you want to and we're going to take the way on the right first Two corridors, got one on the left, one on the right. We're going to go right first, so this one. Yeah, grab a spinal from the um, cabinet there, and then grab a yellow herb. Right here, I leave Ashley by the door where we came in. So just press R1 to make her wait. Look how many f fire grenades. Yes, hang on bullets beneath that lion, almost a tiger then. And just like Ashley before us, these knights, well, I wouldn't say knights in armour, the knight is the armour. Yeah, you get QTEs when you pass them, so just watch out for them. Now in this room, do not take the quite the grail from the centre until you're ready. But once you took it, I'll come over to the entrance. And you've got three knights here. You're going to try and get headshots, because if you get one headshot with a magnum, it'll make the last plagus appear straight away. But if not, you can just go for body shots and then just hit them a few times with TMP. And once the last plagus appears on all three, lob a flashbang. So yeah, I, I do use my magnum here, so you want to use your magnum as well, but don't reload it. Just use the six bullets if you can, and if you don't want to do the headshots, like I say, guys, just go for body shots and then a few bullets with the TMP. Do that for all three. Yeah, so actually a headshot knocks him down in one. It can be a bit tricky. And then what you do when all the, all the power sites are out, just lob a flashbang. I see you'll get two waves to them, you'll get three, kill them, and then another three will appear. Grab all the loot they drop afterwards. It is a bit tricky getting the head hitting their heads. There is a green herb in the area, by the way, and shotgun shells over here. Yeah, it's a bit tricky hitting them in the heads, especially when there's three of them. Because it can be a bit tricky, so you have to keep running around the arena. And you don't when you stop to shoot, you don't really get much of a window before another one gets close. So it can be a little bit tricky. So if you are finding that a bit difficult, just go 
just go for body shots and then finish them off with the TMP. I probably should have done that to be honest because it did take me quite a lot of time to do that. Uh, some, sometimes I'll do it and then sometimes I just miss. Uh, be, but because I try and be perfect, I just have to keep trying to until I am perfect. So because we've used all the Magnum bullets, we've just come to the Merchant and we've upgraded capacity on the Magnum. And that's actually put a bullets back into the Magnum and upgraded the stock. In here, make Ashley wait on one of the floor tiles. You have to have weight on all four. Pretty obvious puzzle here, Resident Evil type puzzle. There's always a puzzle like this in a Resident Evil type game. That's it, once you've done, head through the door and the ceiling will come down. Unfortunately, Barry Burton's not gonna save you in this one. You gotta do it all yourself. So to shoot the little lights on the ceiling, four lights, very easy, one in each corner. That's it, and that'll put a stop to that. Grab the handgun ammo in the corner and then come through this doorway. Now, when you get to the end of this corridor, Ashley Graham will get locked behind a gate. And she'll scream, no, oh, Leon, help. So we're just gonna do just that, help her. You see the two monks on the um, bulldozer type, whatever it is at the end, just shoot them and then that'll open the gates. And once Ashley joins you, loot the spinal from that crate, get the elegant chessboard, we'll have a game of that later. And then loot the area, you'll get another grail in here. I just have to see if I can challenge a boss to a game of chess rather than fighting. Yeah, this last grail, the Queen's Grail. That's it, now head back into the centre area. Where the merchant was. Save your game if you want to. I'm going to come up here now, grab a flashbang, flash grenade. You want to have a hand grenade ready for this bit. So just make sure you've got one equipped. Now you want to run over to about where I am and then lob it. About there and then lob it and that should kill all of them. Just be careful, so if you get too close, one of them will try and lob a scythe at you. Uh, I was quite lucky there, my grenade actually knocked the, the scythe. And then once you kill them, quickly, you want to try and quickly loot them, because their loot will disappear eventually. And then place the holy the grails on the statues. The queen goes on the queen statue, king on the king statue. And once you've done all that, just going to get a bit of treasure from these statues in the area. Yeah, it's a bloody, it's a long chapter this one. Yeah, so you got a spinal and a green gem, I think it is. Yeah, so shoot all four down. Got four little treasures here. Yeah, so got a spinal, green gem, and velvet blue, and spinal. Once you've done that, guys, come through this door. Right in here, just going to smash these pots first, and it's going to be another new enemy enemy type in a second. Yeah, smash these pots, get the velvet blue, get the snake, get the gold from the cabinet there, and the gold from this cabinet also. Loot that and then come in here. Now in a minute, something really dreadful will happen. Ashley will get taken away. So straight after, do a U-turn and come back out the way he came in and jump out this window. Now this bit, most time it works. Basically then bugs cannot come through this window. But sometimes one of them might. But just try and be quick. If you if you shoot them while they're flying by the way, they die in one hit no matter the weapon. Yeah, so when they're airborne, they die in one hit no matter the weapon. So you're gonna try and take them all out. You know if you've got them all, because uh, obviously the music would die. I think there's one more inside because sometimes one of them will get trapped at the door. Loot everything that they drop, you get a lot of gems, Gra grab this red herb on the balcony opposite the ladder and then climb up the ladder. There'll be another treasure at the end here, another butterfly lamp which we're going to keep because all them gems we're getting from them enemies, they actually combine with the butterfly lamp here. Yeah, you've got another butterfly lamp, second one. Yeah, so what normally happens, you'll look through here. And you can normally see the enemy that didn't come through this door. He's normally stuck at the door there. Uh, but he's not there this time, so I think he's got through. And he has. Yeah, he actually must have, he must have come through afterwards, after I've come up the ladder. Just, he's avoiding me. 
There you go, got him, last one. So make sure you loot him. That's it, get the green eye, and then come through here. So this big nest in the middle, you don't have to kill it, but it drops loads of treasure. So I'm just gonna shoot it at the Magnum twice, and then finish it off with the TMP. The reason I do it this way is because if you don't do it this way, then I think I think it needs about two and a half Magnum shots. So obviously you can't fire half a bullet. I mean, you can try and cut a bullet in half. Don't think it will work. But you never know until you try it, do you? Yeah, so I just use the TMP. It only takes like an extra 10 to 20 bullets. Yeah, make sure, you get all the, make sure you've got all the gold in the area before you move on. And you see all these? So these all combine with the butterfly lamps. And if you're lucky, you may have got two of everything at least. Because you've got two butterfly lamps. If you had two of everything, you could com complete every butterfly lamp. I only had uh, one blue gem. That's why I could only complete one butterfly lamp. But we will come across some enemies later, guys. And you'll have a chance to get another blue gem later. If you didn't, have, if, if you didn't manage to finish the butterfly lamp. Yeah, you should get a chance later. So over here, pull that lever and then shoot down the the chains so the bridge releases. And yeah, I know I'm taking the wrong door. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I notice. I notice eventually. Yeah, I went for the wrong door. I know. Right, back over here now, where we knock the bridge down, and through here. Right, so hang on bullets and what you want to do here guys, if you do not have it, buy the rocket launcher. Yeah, if you do not have a rocket launcher, buy it guys. And as normal, so handgun, shotgun, chicken eggs, green, red and yellow mixes and any treasure which is complete. Yeah, so buy rocket launcher guys if you do not have one. Very, very important. Yeah, you can sell triple herbs as well if you need to. What are you buying? I'm not sure what weapons I'm going to buy in professional. I've not really thought about it yet. I mean, I don't use a, I don't use a magnum much at all. I don't know what I don't know what to do. I'm professional. Thank you. What are you buying? Yeah, so I'm going to upgrade the firepower. Broken butterfly should be able to upgrade it one more time. If you low on ammo for the TMP, upgrade the ammo as I just did. When it comes to TMP, it's a, you do want to try and, when you've got low ammo, try not to reload and then next time you meet the merchant, you can upgrade capacity. You want to upgrade capacity. Because to get the exclusives, it, you won't be able to do this until like a little bit later. To get the exclusives, you have to fully upgrade everything and then once you've done that, a little bit later, the exclusive option will be available. Here, just sprint straight across the bridge. There's enemies in the distance, in the corner, lobbing them fireballs at you. So you just want to be quick here. As you round this corner, get rid of this enemy. Sometimes he might be dead, sometimes a fireball just hit him. So I get rid of him just because I want to get his two, uh, two barrels around the corner. There we go. Yeah, get his two barrels. Yeah, let's loot some gold from him. And once it's safe, come around here. I went a bit too early. Well, not too early, because I could have got damaged then. Yeah, and then come through this door. What I do first, I come to the bottom first. You have Basically, what you have to do is go to the top and then down the bottom. But if you want to ease your time getting the loot down here, it's best to come down the bottom first, grab the loot. I mean, like there, for example, you've got a hand grenade. And then in this far corner, you got some loot here as well. There you go, some gold coins. Yeah, and once you've got all them, yeah, so you want to go all the way to the top now. We'll grab a little bit of loot on the way up so we don't have to kill any enemies on the way down. Yeah, the killing the enemies in this bit, are it's a little bit tricky because there's like working parts in the way, loads of metal works. What's topless tower? Is it a bell? Bell tower or something? Yeah, see the um, all the cogs now. It gets in the way when enemies shooting arrows at you from the crossbow. You can't see where they are. So it's easy just to run straight through here. Now when you come up here, 
there'll be three little bits of wood. You can see one here, and you can get the other two from the top floor. Yeah, before you climb up another ladder. Where we are now, by the way, the door we came in originally, in the sort of middle of the tower, I just went up one ladder, and that's when I turned around and shot that piece of wood stuck in the in the cog. And they just keep coming up, up until you're at the top, and then at the top, you should be able to see two more. So there's one. And if you back up to the left of it, you should see the other one there. That's it, that's all three. So you need to shoot three of them. There's three blocks of wood blocking the contraption from working. So shoot them, come up here, grab that green herb from the corner, and then come up this lever, and I'll start it up, and that'll spawn in all the enemies. So you need to be quick here now, because they'll be shooting, as long as you're quick, you most of the time won't get hit, most of the time. Yeah, you can take time trying to kill them if you want, or perhaps if you do it from the floor above, so it might be easier then. But yeah, what I did when, I, when I've got down to the level where the, fl where the door, first door is, I go outside and then come back in. So if you do die or take damage and you reload checkpoint, you're going to start back at the door rather than the top of the tower when you pull the lever. Yeah, this is what happens when you get to the bottom floor. All these, even more enemies come in. Now when you get to the bottom floor, just wait because that guy above lobs dynamite. Once the dynamite explodes, just stun that crossbow enemy just there, otherwise he's likely shooting in the back. And then run it all the way around here where we were earlier and out this door which is now unlocked. Out here you want to get a fire grenade ready. I think this is the last time I actually advise to use one other than just use one for the sake of it. Yeah use fire grenade on these three guys with the shields in front that will kill them and then get your TMP ready and then come forward slowly. You don't run too far forward so it'll trigger more enemies and you want to loot them guys when they die. Now you see that guy with the rocket launcher wait for him to fire it as soon as you hear him fire shoot the rocket so aim onto the rocket ready and as soon as you hear him fire shoot it pretty cool that bit shooting the rocket to kill them all and then through this doorway this is where we wanted the rocket launcher shoot that door at the back that should kill them guys the two um i forget the enemies now you know the wolverine type enemies with a weak spot on the back which are blind yeah shoot the rocket launcher at the back and that'll kill both of them on normal mode anyway assuming you've I think assuming you've reduced the difficulty as well by dying. Now get these two enemies down here, don't go past the steps yet. Yeah, because when you got them steps, enemies come in the door behind you where you just came in. So get them too, and by the time you've got them, the other enemy should have rushed you, because another enemy in the far corner, in a little tunnel, he starts sprinting down for you. So you want to kill, kill them too, kill the enemy sprints down, he'll drop a first aid spray. Once you've done that guys, quickly come up here, Loot these pots, because we come at them first set of steps, it spawns some enemies behind us. Don't be too long, because this loot that these tough enemies drop there, the Wolverine type enemies, that will despawn. Yep, just keep coming up now, guys, get that spinal. Get that spinal, keep coming up, don't let them enemies, don't give them a chance to get close to you. And through here. No, Leon! Don't worry, Ashley, I've got my grappling hook. Yeah, we just get down here. Oh, yeah, it's a little boss at the end of this level. Forgot. Yeah, get the crown treasure from that corpse. And then get all these goodies. TMP ammo, magnum ammo, and the yellow herb. I'm going to buy another rocket launcher in a second. So make sure you got space for it. Got another fire grenade. Welcome. Yeah, I forgot it's another boss on this one. Yeah, quite a long one, isn't it? What are you selling? Right, so I'm going to sell your usual crap to make some space. Thank you. Give that first age spray. First age sprays are good if you've been upgrading your HP because they they automatically give you full health no matter where your health is. And you see the strike is available now. We'll actually be buying that later. We won't buy it now. Probably buy it on the next chapter. But yeah, what we want is a rocket launcher, guys. So make sure you buy that rocket launcher. I'll go back and get it in a second. I almost forgot to buy it. Yeah, almost forgot to buy it. So I'll go and get it in a second. This boss, bit of a pain in the ass without the rocket launcher, so you definitely want to make sure you've got it. Got some rare. What are you buying? What are you buying? I'm buying the rocket launcher. Again. Strange. There we go. Lob it in your inventory. Make sure you put it in sideways. Don't put it in upside down because the rocket might fall out when you're running along. You do not want to lose that rocket. Yeah, just try and reorganise my inventory. So many grenades. 
all them fire grenades, they're probably going to get sold. Flashbangs, so do keep your flashbangs. Hand grenades and fire grenades. Fire grenades especially don't really come in much use now, but flashbangs come in very useful on the last few chapters. Yeah, because the last few chapters there'll be tons of enemies and then flashbangs come in handy, just get through them quick. There's a velvet blue in that storm drain and there'll be another one with, oh you've got the red herb there on the corner. Yeah, there should be another drain with a spinal. Uh, where is it? Yes, that's the boss that just saw us. There it is, spinal. So once you've got all them guys, head through the door at the end. Yeah, we'll be using rock launchers, just make sure you've got it equipped. Yeah, and all you're doing is going to sprint straight to the end. Now that boss is going to be trying to attack you, and there'll be QTEs that appear. You normally get L2 and R2 or square and X, so just be ready for them, QTEs. You see that canister we're just running past? Normally you have to lob them down, I think we've got hydrogen inside of it, nitrogen. You knock them down and they sort of freeze the enemy, and when he's frozen you do like three times damage. So if you do try and fight him normally, you have to use them to your advantage. In here in the end room, get the shotgun shells and grab the green herb. And then come over here and press the power switch. Yeah, watch out for them button, them button prompts. Yeah, turn the power back on. And then come over to the main door and then interact with it. And then it should start the timer after which it will open. Now there he is. So you want to run back to here and pull, knock over this canister. That should freeze him. And then once he's frozen, shoot him with a rocket launcher. And he's toast, and you'll get a trophy. Well, he's frozen, more like. You got a trophy, a terrifying assassin. Just make sure you get a treasure he drops. Yeah, that combines with that crown that we've picked up earlier. Yeah, so that's all you do to kill him, guys. When you try and run past him, uh, when I did, there may be a QTE. I was quite lucky then because every other time I always get QTE when I try and run past him. But that time I felt it was just a little bit quicker and it didn't trigger in time. I think I interacted, interacted with the canister just like a split second before the QTE was about to start. Yeah, come into this room halfway down and grab the TMP ammo. And I'm going to head into that first room we passed on the first corridor. Yeah, so this one just through here. This is where we need to go. And this marks the end of the chapter. Finally, what a long one that was. Yeah, in this middle table, we've got handgun bullets and first aid spray. And then operate the elevator. And go up. Uh, sorry, go down. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty yeah, that's it, guys. The end of the chapter. Yeah, I say quite quite a long one that, and it's quite a lot of them are going to be similar to that sort of length going forward, uh, when we're trying to collect everything and uh, take our time, keep it nice and easy. Yeah, so uh, I'll leave there for that one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.